Coffee farming remains one of the oldest cash crop ventures in the country, which has withered many storms from time to time. Now, one family in Nyeri County has improved this venture through grafting, having learned a few lessons from the COVID-19 pandemic. Our very own Dennis Cetiano has more on this week's Smart Farm. <laughs> At Kianjogu village in Nyeri County, Cyrus Muroki delights in improving his coffee farm. Here, we learn that farming runs through this family. Tufunafanya kazi hii na bibi yangu na watoto wangu wa vijana wawili. Eh, tunapenda mambo ya ukulima. Kwanza tunachugurikia kahawa sana kwa sababu kahawa adio inatuletea eh, eh, fainda. Cyrus says he has seen it all in coffee farming, having observed his parents in the 50s. Nikuwa kijana wa miaka kuminatatu, nilifanywa ni baba yagu kushimba shimo machimo ya kupanda kahawa. Wakati wa ukroni, wakati tulikumbariwa, eh, wa Afrika walikumbariwa kupanda kahawa. Mimi niendelea kuwa na, 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 na mapensi ya kahawa, baba yangu eh, akaendelea, akafariki, with nearly three acres, he has improved the crop using grafting, a method of plant propagation where parts from two or more plants are joined so that they appear to grow as a single plant. Kwanza tulikuwa tumepanda SL28. SL28 ni kawa mzuri sana. Ina flower na inapedwa na wazungu. Uh, Tumepanda kahawa ya Ruiru 11, kwa sababu Ruiru 11, ukiona ma, e, ma, maua, ujue, iyo maua itakuwa begu. Na ikuwa begu utapereka kwa soko. Grafting produces a crop that is tolerant to drought and diseases. After every harvest, he sells a kilo of his coffee at between 100 and 110 shillings. Kahawa iko pesa. Hmm? Unaweza, you know, wale, wale, wale watu wanapenda kahawa. Ukiwa na chamba eka moja tu, eka moja unaweza kumake million or two million kutoka kwa kahawa. Na ikiwa upendi kitu kama hisho, sasa unakweta kupenda nini? But with age catching up, he's slowly entrusting his sons to run the farm. Walter Nguge just returned to Kenya from Germany after the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. Studying medicine in Germany, uh, when the COVID hit, it made me think about my life in the context of how I fit it in the world. Walter has gone a notch higher and has started rearing pigs as part of diversifying livestock in the farm. They now have a rich mixed farming venture. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.